The M plus peak is definitely one of the most confusing concepts in mass spec analysis. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the M plus peak, and I'm also going to teach you what it represents and what you can do with the information that you get from the M plus peak. So first of all, how to find the M plus peak. This is the definition of how to find it, I think is one of the things that makes it confusing. The M plus peak is always the most abundant peak on the right hand side of the spectrum. This definition is, like I said, I think is what contributes to a lot of students' confusion. The students read it's the most abundant peak and they just kind of latch on to that part of the definition without really following through for the rest of the definition. The M plus peak is not the most abundant peak. Abundance is uh, intensity on the, the vertical axis here. The M plus peak is not the most abundant peak. It is the most abundant peak on the right-hand side of the spectrum. So when we go all the way over here to the right-hand side on our horizontal axis, the most abundant peak on the right-hand side is this little guy right here. So we are looking for not the most abundant peak, and we're also not looking for the most furthest to the right peak, that teeny tiny little one. We are looking for, of the peaks that are on the right-hand side, which one is the most abundant. So for this particular spectrum, which is um, one pentene from the NIST database, this right here is our M plus peak. So this would be our M plus peak. And we can see that it corresponds to the number 70. This is the mass of the, um, the mass of the fragment or the portion of the molecule that's giving rise to this particular peak. So what does the M plus peak represent? Well, the M plus peak is also referred to as the molecular ion because it is the peak that corresponds to the molecule making it all the way through the mass spec in instrument without falling apart at all. So let me draw a picture of what I mean by that. And this particular spectrum again is for one pentene. So here is here is one pentene, and as you know, when one pentene is put into a mass spec, it's going to get showered with a whole bunch of electrons, which is going to cause it to turn into a cation. And this cation is very fragile, and this cation, most of the molecules will just fall apart and make smaller pieces. But some of these cations are going to actually be able to make it all the way through the instrument. We talked about this in the last video. And those cations that make it all the way through the instrument, those are the ones that are picked up and detected and recognized as the M plus peak. So 70 is what corresponds to the molecular weight of this particular molecule. Molecular weight or molar mass or whatever term you would like to use. The other peaks that we see in the mass spec are peaks that correspond to this one pentene cation falling apart into smaller fragments or smaller pieces and those are the pieces that are getting detected here. Um, now you might be wondering what this little teeny tiny peak at 71 corresponds to. That's what I'm going to be going over in the next video so just keep watching if you want to learn about that. One useful piece of information that you can get from the mass spec, well aside from the molecular weight, that's a very very useful piece of information you can get. In addition to that, if the M plus peak is an odd number, so for example, if the M plus peak was 71 or 73 or 75, so we'll write those numbers down, 71 or 73 or something along those lines, this would tell us that we have an odd number of nitrogen atoms in our molecule. So this, if we have an odd number M plus peak, this tells us that we also have an odd number of nitrogen atoms in our molecule, typically just one. It's not very common to have more than one nitrogen in just regular organic molecules, and you know that would be different if you're talking about biochemistry, um, but typically if we have an odd M plus peak, that means that we have a single nitrogen atom in our molecule.